What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use a Mayflash N64 to USB adapter to use your original N64 controllers. So first thing you want to exit Hyperspin, go over to the toolkit and select exit to Windows. If you don't have the toolkit, just go ahead and press Control Shift Escape on the keyboard, select Hyperspin and do end task. After that, you're going to have a black background. So go ahead and do new task. Type in Explorer, if it already says it, hit OK. And then you're going to get the same desktop that I have here. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and calibrate your controller. Um, you're first going to obviously want to plug it into the USB port. So once you do that, go ahead and um, start up this shortcut on the desktop, set up USB controllers. And with the Mayflash adapter, you're going to have uh, the Player one on the adapter is actually the right port instead of the left, so keep that in mind. Right now I only have one controller plugged into the right port of the adapter, and that's gonna be the first controller up here. So I'm gonna to go to properties, and I'm going to go to settings, and then I'm gonna to go to calibrate. I'm gonna hit next, and it says to just press a button on the controller, so I'm gonna press the button A. Then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, with the joystick, I'm gonna rotate it to the right in circles, and I also like doing it to the left a few times. Okay, now you can let go of it and hit next. Then it says to press a button again, so I'm gonna do that. And for the Z axis, just press the Z button on the controller and press it one more time. And that's all you have to do, hit finish, hit apply, hit okay, close this out. Uh, now before I continue, keep in mind that this is going to be for those of you that purchased my system from the date that this uh, video is published. If you have a system prior to this date, um, for this update and previous updates that I've been making videos for the past few days, you're gonna wanna go ahead and send your hard drive in if you wanna start buying all of these original controllers because um, there's a little bit more involved than I'd like to release as a video update. And uh, there's some stuff that needs to be done in the registry. So I don't want to do that um, over a video or instruct you guys on how to do that. I'd rather you just send the system. It's, it's a little bit of, of, uh, of a tedious uh, process. So just go ahead and get in contact with me and we'll get it taken care of. Um, but moving on, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and go to the yellow folder next to the start menu right here. And you want to go ahead and go to the emulators folder and go to project 64 open that up open up project 64.exe and then just go to options go to configure controller plugin if you see that it, that these inputs are here you're probably okay if it says unassigned just go to load profile double click on mayflash n64 usb adapter and that's gonna populate all of this. Make sure that, it, that the plug is checked off and just do save. Now you can close this out. And the last thing you have to do is go to rocket launcher from the desktop shortcut, open that up. Okay, and then we're gonna go over to the search here, type in 64, and that's gonna single out the Nintendo 64 here. Go to the emulators tab up here, default emulator, hit the magnifying glass and look for project 64 in here. Double click and that's all you have to do. Now to test it, you can go over to the games tab and hit this first little icon to the left right here. I'm gonna just search for Mario, Super Mario 64, then do the little rocket icon to start the game. All right, so at this point, your controller should work. I'm going to go ahead and press start and I can move the joystick around. Okay, so just a few notes. Uh, first thing to exit the games uh, with the Nintendo 64 controllers, you're going to press the start button and left on the D-pad or the joystick. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is when you first start up a game, um, or I should say when you, when you try to select the game after plugging in the controller, after you configure it like I showed you, you're not gonna be able to scroll around Hyperspin using the controller just yet. You have to start up a Nintendo 64 game first using either your Xbox controller extension, uh, keyboard, 
XRK joystick, whatever, start up a game. Then when you quit out of the game, you'll be able to control hyperspin with the N64 controller. And last is uh, don't keep the Nintendo 64 controller plugged in if you're not using it. So if you're playing other systems, just unplug the adapter and the controllers and only plug them in when you are actually playing Nintendo 64. All right, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.